Hey folks, Crafty Mom here, and I want to make this video because recently I saw something that absolutely shocked me. Now, we've been having a winter fun collab, and on one of the first week videos, one of the collaborators has almost 1,900 views, but what was surprising to me is only 40 comments. And I thought, well, maybe she's on Facebook, ever does that or something. I don't do Facebook. And then recently I saw on my winter fun collab, on my week one video cards, that not only did I have three thumbs down, which I really get thumbs down, but hey, it happens once in a time, once in a while. But this one I wanted to check, and I, I usually never check the analytics. But when I went to the video to see who gave me a thumbs down, what really shocked me was the views I got on this video. Let me show you here. Week, week one, winter fun collab. I had, <laughs> wait for it. 3,385 views. Normally on any video I put up, I have maybe 20, 30, 50. If I'm giving something away, maybe a couple of hundred. Never 3,000. So I was like, now I started checking these. YouTube, the source. And I see YouTube advertise listed here. And it says almost 3,000 people, 88.3% came from YouTube advertising. I'm like, what is YouTube advertising? I'm not monetized. I've never been. Ad playbacks that qualify as a view. This really got me. I'm like, ad playbacks? Why do I have ads running when I, I, again, I've chosen not to have any ads displayed at any time. I've not been monetized. So it says display ads. I've always had this enabled on my YouTube channel from the start. Disable any internet-based ads. Display ads here, as you can see, that YouTube will still run ads on your channel. What? I never knew this. So I'm like, what are display ads? It's views where the user chose to play this video from a display ad. These ads can show in the search results or on the watch page. I was in shock. That means YouTube's running ads without me knowing it. So <laughs> I went and I had to look and I said, I want to see who's watching, like the watch time. Like, oh my golly, look at this. 99.9% .9 of the watch time of that particular video was from YouTube ads. And guess what? They're all from other countries other than the United States. Only 124 of those views of 3,385 came from the U.S. We're talking Lebanon, Iraq, Iran, and the viewer age. 13 to 17. That's where the COPPA law is going to hit. So I wanted to check the subscription status. It should surprise no one that 91.5% were not even subscribed to my channel. And what even shocked me even more was almost 74% of the viewers of that video were men. I'm like, men? I know there are men crafters, but that means that 74% of the people clicking on the internet-based ads thought they were seeing a guy thing and got to my video. And of course, probably weren't too happy to see my video. So anyway, the amount from YouTube advertising on this one video alone was 13.4 hours of view time. Almost all the view time came from YouTube advertising. I'm like, well, you gotta be kidding me. So age restrict your own videos. Why should you do this now? I've age restricted every video on my channel now. When it's age restricted, they must be signed in and 18 years of age or older to view it. And also age restricted videos won't show ads by default and can't be monetized. Ads are a big thing on this COPPA law because they contain cookies which track things. So if your video is not in restricted mode, this means you including not intended for children in your title does nothing. If it's in age restricted mode, age restricted videos are not visible to users who are signed out or under the age of 18. The FCC in a recent video said not only can we sue Google and YouTube, but also individual channel owners and content creators need to do what you have to do to protect yourself. You don't have to delete your old channel or all your videos, but I think you should change it to restricted mode on all your videos until this thing gets cleared up. Because part of the current FCC slash COPPA wording of this thing is things kids may be attracted to. Well, kids are attracted to a lot of things. Toys, things you show from the Dollar Tree, etc. I think in the very least you should be proactive and protect yourself. If you have your videos in restricted mode, a user has to sign in and they have to confirm their age. This is how to protect yourself right now until we get a clearer picture. So this is not a panic alert, it's to add a layer protection alert. How to add age restriction when you upload a video in YouTube Studio Beta. 
So here are the instructions for how to do that when you're uploading a new video in YouTube Studio Beta. And again, here is how to add age restriction to videos you already uploaded in YouTube Studio Beta. These are previously uploaded videos. You can bulk edit up to 30 previous videos at one time. That's exactly what I did. I did all of them. And here's the YouTube Studio Creator Classic instructions if you need them as well. I hope this video is helpful to some of you and gives you a little more peace of mind. Let's keep our crafty community together and still running on YouTube. Thanks for watching Crafty Mama. Have a wonderful day. Bye.